Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the database series and in this series we are exploring the PostgreSQL database. In case you want to look for the SQL, we have already covered the SQL database SSMS in a step by step manner in this playlist. Now we are shifting our focus to the PostgreSQL database where we have already seen how you can install the PostgreSQL database, how you can open the interface, how you can use the SQL shell to launch the PostgreSQL. In case you don't have the database, you can watch the previous videos which I have linked in the description and you can get your own copy of the PostgreSQL database which is absolutely free. Today. In this video, we are going to discuss about the interface of the PostgreSQL that when you start it for the first time, what are the things as a PostgreSQL developer you should be aware of, right? So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in this series. Having said that, let's get started. To get started, first thing is we are going to start with the pgadmin4. So I'll go to my start menu and here I would search for pgadmin, right? Since I already installed the pgadmin, I will just go here and click on this button which is the pgadmin4, right? Click on that button and wait for the pgadmin to load it, right? So this is the front end interface which we can use right so in case you are coming from the ssms background this is the same thing which is called the sql server management studio where you can just see and interact with the database with the user interface we'll just wait for the pg admin 4 to log in now when you open this for the first time this is how the editor looks like of the pg admin 4 so on the top menu, you have something which is called a file option where you have all these four options, right? We are not going to go into deep details of each and everything because that would take a lot of time. But at least at a high level, we should be aware of that. What are the options which are available for us? Okay. So in case I want to play around the preferences, you have this first option, which is called the preferences. Just click on that and you would have all these options to customize the browser. Keyboard shortcut is something which you might be interested in, the properties, the display play the refresh rates all of these options which you see here can be customized by just using this option which is called preferences right at any point of time let's say you mingle up something with the preferences and now you want to go back to the existing layout you can just come to the file and click on this button which called reset layout and this will reload and that will reset all the preferences back to the original right so this is how it looks like at the beginning right so it has been reset right so that option is available here for the reset layout which you might be thinking when you just move around things here and there right the other two options which you have is the locking the layout and the runtime what you want to do so let's say you are running something you want to enter the full screen you can just click on this button control plus f10 that is the shortcut control plus zero to reset back zoom in and zoom out right so you can do all of this in at any point of time during the runtime if you want to see the logs you can click on this button which is called view the logs and that will show you the logs like this right so this option is available directly for you in the file the next option for you is this one which is called the object if you click on the object as of now i don't have any object selected so let me go to the servers and let me select some object right so i'll select any one of the database let's say this one okay and then i'll go to the object and now you can see you have these options which are available so depending on the object which you select it can be a database it can be a table now if I click on the database, go to the object, you can see that now I have this option of creating the schema, creating the database and all these other options. Create a script, ERD for database and you can also check the properties as well, right? So this option is also available for you when you select this one and this is called the object, right? Similarly, if you click on the PostgreSQL 15, right? This one. And now if you go to the object, you would see that you have a different option now this is a database that's why you see a different option but if you directly click on the server which is the postgreSQL 15 and then you click on the object you would have a different option like disconnect from the server remove the server change the password clear the save password right i already have the password saved if i want to remove you can just do it from here 
right you can just create a new database new table space new login group all of this comes when you select these options right so depending on what actually you select this object property varies the third one is the tools where you have all these tools which are useful to do your management in the pl sql so let's say today i want to do something with the query i can go to the tools and select this one which is called the query tool and that directly opens the query wizard for you like this right and you can remove the panel from here like this right so these are the tools which are by default available okay the next one is the help self-explanatory if you want to know any more information online quick search the admin website p postgre sql website all of these links are directly available for you here right so that was about the menu bar which you see on this option after the menu bar you have this option which is called the object explorer and here you have five buttons one two three four and five right so these are the five buttons which you can utilize as per your requirement the first one this button which is the query tool the shortcut is all shift q if you click on that that will directly open the query wizard for you exactly the same query tool which you have here right so if you select on a database and if you want to open this query wizard you can directly go here and click on this button which is called the query tool the next one where you see this a uh, kind of a grid this is called the view data this simply means that if you have some table right so let's say let me go to the existing tables go to an existing table right let's say this is one of the table now as soon as i select the table you can see here this option is enabled which is called the view data i can simply click on that button and that will directly run a select query and i would be able to see all the data from that table right so this option is available directly for you here which is called the view data there is a third option which is available which is called the filtered row button which is used to access the data filter property when you are viewing the data right so let's say i am in this table i'll just go again to the table right so this is the table i click on this button which is view data and you see all of this now let's say i want to filter out the data you can click on this button which is called filtered rows and here you can specify the data filter property that what filters you want to apply you can also use the same here which is called the filter option like this and you can actually write directly the filter options directly here as well this option is available when you select the tables the fourth option here you see this search one this is called the search object button it is used to access the search object dialog and it helps you to search any database object and the last one you have something which is called the pl sql tool if you click on that this will open the pl sql in the current database context like this right so these are the five options which are available for you okay now when you are done with the object explorer there you see these are all the different different tabs which are available right at any point of time if you don't want to see that you can just right click on it and you have this one which is called remove the panel right i don't want to see the statistics i can just go here and i say remove the panel i don't want to see this one go here and remove the panel right in case you want to have it in a floating you can just click right click on it and you have this option which is called detach panel and that would be available for you as a floating window right like this so all these options are available you just have to right click on this and it gives you an option like remove rename detach so whatever you have removed in case you want it back right click on it and this is the option which says add the panel right so you just have to right click on these panels and you will get the options accordingly there is a good thing about this one which is called the dashboard right so if you select any of the object and then you click on this button which is called the dashboard this dashboard provide an active analysis of the user statistics on the selected server or the database so as of now i have selected this database so as you can see this is showing that how many total how many are active what is the transaction per second right so this is a kind of a quick overview which gives you in a dashboard format right you will get information like the server sessions the database sessions the transaction per second the tuple in tuple out all these informations are available for you here right so in case you are finding that yes this information is a bit outdated you can just click on this button which is called the refresh and the statistics will be refreshed 
right? So you can use this icon just to see what is happening with your database. For any selected object, when you click on this button, which is called property, this will give you all the details which are available for that, right? So for example, I click on this one. It says that the database name is Swimtex. The owner is the Postgres. It's a system database. All these definitions are available for you here, right? In the properties and the SQL, it's already, as the name suggests, you can directly write the query here, right? So in case you want to create the template or the database again, this is what the database was created right so these options are available in the dashboard property sql dependence and processes on the left hand side of the screen what you see this is called the tree control which means that all of these are nested one within another in the form of a tree so you can just go to any of the databases it says that inside the postgres i have three databases you can open the three databases and then what do you want to do with the databases let's say in the swim sim sticks i have all these databases so the tables inside the databases, you will find it inside the schemas and then you have the tables, right? So all of this is a tree control. You can just click on that button and it should expand it further like this. For a table, you have columns, constraint, index, rules, all of these options are available for you, right? So this is a tree control. You can just click on expanding and that should expand by just using this plus and the minus signs. One other interesting thing which I wanted to share, let's say if you have something which is a very long name, right? So let's say this one and I want to write something. You can just drag and drop this name here and you can see, let me do a control plus Z. I'll just create a new query editor. Okay. So one good part about this thing is uh, when you have the query editor and instead of typing this complete name from here, you can just drag and drop it here like this, right? like this this works right this is pretty helpful when you want to save time for writing the long objects right i personally like this feature of drag and drop in case you also like it just comment down drag and drop and i would understand that yes you also like this feature okay after that in case i want to write a query right so that we have already seen you can just select this option and you can click on this one which is called the query tool you can just write the query here or you can just click on any of the table and click on this button which is called view the data and it should automatically write the query for you right like this the other good thing about is that you have something which is called query history. You can click on this button query history and it will show you all the recent queries which you have fired on the database and you can just click on the old one and you can click this one which says copy to query editor or copy and then it should you should be able to run it right. So this database also manages the something which is called the history of the queries right. How to execute the query? Once you have written the query, you have this button, which is called the execute. You just have to click on this button and the shortcut is F5 and you should be able to execute. For any long running query, you can just click on this button and that will stop it. In case you want to limit the number of rows, just select it from here and that will automatically adjust the query by writing this limit right so let's say i only want 1000 row you have selected the object and now you want to customize you just have to click on this button which says 500 rows and you would notice that postgresql is automatically adding that syntax at the end of the query right without you doing much now once you have executed the query at the bottom you would have this option which is called the data output then you have the messages in case you have any successful run or the error you would see that here how many rows affected let me show you one more interesting stuff, right? Let's say once you have the data which is available in the table, right? You have a direct option here where you can save the result to a file by clicking on this button with the shortcut is F8. You can click on that button and you can see that it is downloading the results for you, right? So in case you directly want to export it outside the database, you just click on that button and that will export the data for you, right? And that result will be now saved in a comma separated file in a csv file for you so that is the quick thing i wanted to show about this interface right and as you can see at the top i have got a lot of queries now i want to just remove them so just go here and say remove the panels remove the panel remove the panel and you should be able to get back to the view right now there are a lot of other good options which are available in this that we will explore once we deep dive into the 
post create databases tables and all right so today's video was just to make you familiar about the pg admin for interface that what all this interface look like so that next time when we try to build the database create the table you don't find this interface alien right so i would request you guys to go back just practice play around here and there click on these buttons see what are the different options you have right and in case you find something interesting which i forgot to cover let me know in the comments so that other people can also read it and they get the value right okay so that is all i wanted to cover in this video i hope this video was insightful if that is the case please do like this video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video where we will be exploring more about the pg admin or the postgre admin see you in the next video mm -hmm.